Hello Umut here, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to work on my napkin journal which I love. Uh, I use this standard size traveler's uh, notebook cover uh, with some straps and uh, I fill it inside. I create these mixed media inserts uh, myself from mixed media paper and I have a video that I show how I create it so I will put it in the description box and up in the cards if you're interested to see. This is my napkin today. It's very colorful and vibrant uh, as opposite of the weather uh, today in London. Uh, so it's very good to look at. Uh, I'm going to just remove the backings, uh, the two of them, uh, to start working on my page. Uh, I think I will use the elephant like this and I have a plan uh, on uh, how to design the rest of the page, meaning the right side. So I'm going to just uh, rip it off uh, from here, uh, taking my elephant. As you see, it's a very nice uh, vibrant uh, uh, napkin with vibrant colors uh, and a lot of doodling on it. So uh, you can do a lot with it. I'll just stick it down with my matte medium uh, to my page. Uh, and when I stick it down, uh, I actually uh, go over the napkin as well quite uh, strongly because uh, if you cover it, like I push my um, brush quite a lot because then all the wrinkles uh, settle down and you get uh, as smooth as possible uh, impression uh, when you glue down your napkin. Uh, not that I am bothered with wrinkles, they also uh, have texture, create texture, but uh, if you want as smooth as possible, I really push my uh, brush and I go over the napkin with matte medium. Uh, I just uh, glued one piece uh, on the corner as well and I'm going to complete this part of the page with the same pattern that I uh, took from the uh, napkin. Uh, now. I'm going to use some acrylic paint, but in case uh, I touch it with my hands, uh, I just wanted to show you, uh, I use uh, Winsor & Newton Art Guard uh, Protective Cream uh, so that uh, you protect your skin uh, from the chemicals that the paints have. These, uh, these paints are not uh, toxic if you use it with, br <coughs> with brush, sorry. Uh, so uh, it's completely safe. But if you use it with your hands, it's better to protect yourself. Uh, I started with post box red. Uh, you see the colors that I am using on the screen while I'm using them. Because uh, this napkin was very vibrant, uh, it came to my mind that uh, I could use my di dilutions that are very vibrant as well. Um, so I started with the red and I continue with funky fuchsia. Uh, which is a dark pink color uh, and uh, I just go over the places that doesn't have the napkin to try to integrate the napkin uh, napkins as a pattern into the page uh, and uh, I use water and my hands uh, to help with the blending if you don't want to touch it you can always use a baby wipe as well but make sure it's not completely wet it's a little bit uh, moist but uh, not so wet that uh, will take your paint away uh, i'm just uh, i i think it's well integrated now uh, and on the right side uh, i'm going to do other things so i'm not bothered that there's a line there that's the aim i'm using this uh, stencil uh, to create uh, doodles and patterns like i see on the napkin uh, so this is dirty martini and the stencil is from caravel studio uh, and it's called around the world. I used my uh, blending tool with the sponge to use over the stencil with paints. Just make sure it's uh, you don't load your uh, tool, the sponge, too much, uh, so that the paint seeps under the stencil. A little bit is enough. Uh, and I'm using another color, vibrant turquoise, uh, to uh, continue doing the doodles. As you see, I'm replicating what I see on the uh, napkin. That's why I always say uh, these are uh, great tools. Napkins are great for beginners uh, or just to have fun and something easy and quick because you don't need to think about what to do, which colors to use. Uh, 
uh, they provide you all the idea and the colors, uh, color combination and everything. So if you look at the napkin and follow the uh, story there and the colors there, you will have a nice page for sure. Now I switch to pure sunshine and I'm just uh, making the, these uh, branches like I see on the napkin, extending it to the rest of the page. Uh, this provides the continuity and uh, also makes sure that uh, we have the same patterns everywhere and nobody knows there's a napkin there. It looks like uh, it's a page uh, that is full and cohesive with its colors and its uh, images. If you want to watch uh, more napkin journals, I have a full playlist of them. So again, I'm going to put the link down below and up in the cards here so you can see more pages uh, if you wish so. I wanted a little bit of that lavender uh, uh, color, uh, but I don't have it in dilution. So I took my Arteza uh, heavy body acrylic paints and I'm mixing purple with white to create a lavender uh, color. If you don't have exact colors, uh, don't worry, you can always create them yourself. Uh, just uh, if you have difficulty and don't know how to create it, just google it or uh, write it on YouTube. There are loads of people who make mixing colors uh, videos, so I'm sure you can find something. Uh, and I decided to play on these uh, circles more using a lighter color, replicating the light green uh, color that I see on the napkin. And I found my paper artsy paint in Limelight. You can use all acrylic colors with each other. You don't need to have one brand with all the colors. You can pick and choose what uh, what you like uh, in each of them. Acrylic colors are the same eventually and they will work together for sure. When I finish with this, I'm going to use my Stabilo All uh, pencil, which is very nice uh, to write on acrylic. Uh, it draws and it's water soluble. So I have it in black and it's uh, very useful. I use it uh, again and again. I will put a link down below for you uh, to be able to see uh, what it is. Uh, and uh, I just draw this line and highlight it with black. Then I go over it with my water brush. Uh, as you see, it's water soluble. So it, it creates a nice effect uh, and I dry it. Uh, after that, I continue doing it uh, on the edges as well. And I do the same process. And uh, coming to the sentiment, I have this Tim Holtz uh, sticker set. Uh, the words are all, all in black and white as well, which is very useful. So I'm going to select a few words that uh, define this page for me in my mind. Travel, world, photograph, uh, capture, inspiration and crazy. Uh, these are the words that uh, remind me this page. And finally, I'm going to make a very thin black border with my Faber-Castell pit brush marker. You can do this with paint, ink, uh, or uh, if you have gelatos or scribble sticks, you can use all of them. Uh, or a marker uh, to create this black border. I'm going to do it very thin anyway just to go with the black elements that I created on my page and you can imagine that I'm going to do a little bit uh, black splashes too. After this I realized I want a little bit of uh, doodling with funky fuchsia on this uh, side of the page too and just to complement uh, and balance the other side. So I reached for it and made some cir little circles like polka dots and finally, I'm doing my uh, black splashes. I'm using a thin brush. I don't want big blobs of uh, black paint over my page. Uh, so uh, just a thin one uh, with the uh, right amount of black splashes. And I really love the page. Uh, the napkin is well integrated and the colors are very vibrant. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and open your notifications so that you can uh, receive messages when I post new videos and please don't forget to uh, join Instagram as well 
so that you can see uh, my content there too if you want to see more napkin journals or art journals i have playlists that uh, i put on my page so you can see them all together thank you so much for watching and see you next time